Hi there, this is Doc J. Zimmerman and we are back again with a, with a health topic video and today we're going to talk about the importance of fiber. Fiber is very important and one of the reasons it's important because it has to do with something we all do. Um, it has to do with elimination and if you're not sure what I mean by elimination it means it has to do with taking a poop. It's something that all human beings and animals do is we have to get rid of what comes into the body what comes in must go out so fiber is one of the things that helps things go out it it is on do we have digestible fiber and indigestible fiber which is the fiber that goes into your intestines and takes the food that your body's digesting and once the body absorbs its nutrients and its energy levels and it takes everything it needs from the food the leftover starts to pass from your stomach into your um, small intestine and into your large intestine and then into your rectum and then that's when you get the urge to go to the bathroom and then out it's supposed to come but if you're not taking enough fiber in your diet guess what's going to happen you are not going to be eliminating or evacuating this this food that's stuck up there. So it's real important to be getting enough fiber in your diet. Again, as I said, insoluble fiber is the, is the, is the main type of fiber that binds to the, the food that's in your system and pulls it out. So when you're um, looking at your foods, um, when you're reading your labels, um, which is very important to do, it's always important to read labels because this way you get the calories, you get the protein, you get the carbohydrates, the fats, the amount of sugar, the amount of salt, and, and again, as far as this topic goes, you get the fiber content. It tells you soluble and insoluble fiber. So insoluble fiber is you want to eat foods that have as much as that as possible, and these types of foods that contain fiber would be um, foods that, are from, that have whole grains, um, uh, things like beans and legumes and nuts have fiber. Vegetables are, are big fiber. All right, the, the skins on fruits and potatoes and, and, and other vegetables all contain amounts of fiber. So you want to make sure you're eating a diet that's high in vegetables, all right, high in fruits because you're getting enough fiber. Everybody knows that, or I'm guessing that everybody knows that salad, because it's a leafy green vegetable, is, is mostly a fiber. All right, um, leafy green vegetables like lettuce and spinach and kale and arugula are fiber. Cabbage is a fiber. Um, even every vegetable has fiber in it, as again, like carrots and apples and things like that. Beans are, are very high in fiber. So you want to get your diet to have a lot of that in there. Now, if you're not getting enough fiber, it's important to supplement your diet with fiber. And you can do that very easily because in this, every supermarket in their health section sells fiber. All right, you can get. Um, things like Metamucil, which add fiber to your diet. It comes in a cracker form, it comes in a wafer form, or it comes in a powder that you can you could just mix in water and drink at night. Uh, one of the best fibers you can possibly take is psyllium husk. Psyllium it, it has um, a shell to it, and that shell is the husk, and it's indigestible. So if you mix the psyllium in water and drink it, that husk goes through your stomach, goes into your small intestine, your large intestine, and it's just grabbing everything and taking it out with it. So um, psyllium husk is a real good one to mix with water and uh, take that at night too. So now you see the importance of fiber. Um, if you do not have enough fiber in your diet, you will be constipated, and constipation is not fun, it is not healthy, and it's not good for you. So please make sure you're getting enough fiber in your diet. And um, I hope this video helped explain the importance of fiber. Um, I want you to have a great day and we will be back with more health videos. Take care.